Hey guys, I'm at the uh, St. Jacobs Farmers Market in St. Jacobs, Ontario, and I'm at uh, DSL Games here. And it's owned by a really nice guy, and he has a lot of games and a lot of rare stuff and a lot of fun stuff and pretty much anything you need for any system, he has it here. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour of what he has. He's got a lot of action figures, Star Wars stuff, and uh, Transformers and Pokemon and things in boxes, Star Wars things in boxes. He's got lots and lots and lots of Nintendo 64 games, and they all range uh, from 5 bucks up to, you know, normal prices when you get up to the better ones up here. So you got Zelda and Smash Brothers and more Zelda and Star Fox and all that kind of stuff. He's got games in boxes, um, you know, lots of, lots of good stuff. He's got lots of GameCube games. You guys are looking for GameCube games or something there. There's some harder to find ones up here. Uh, Mario Party, Zelda Collector's Edition. Um, he's got lots of awesome Super Nintendo games. Ultimate Mortal, Mortal Kombat 3 is a hard one to find. You got Contra 3, and these are all like really reasonably priced for what they are. Um, I pick up stuff from here all the time, and then these are, you know, just some more common ones that range. These ones here are five to ten bucks uh, for just some common ones. Uh, some Genesis stuff that I don't care about, but uh, he's got some Super Nintendo games in boxes there. He's got lots of original Nintendo games there. He's got systems for sale, all refurbished and clean. They all come with warranties. Lots of Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance games, down here like that. He's got lots of PS1 games. Steve Austin, oh yeah. Oh, he's got, he's got the six million dollar man that you look through his eye and he does things. But he doesn't have shoes so he's not worth anything. And uh, lots of PS2 games, um, you know, weird stuff like uh, things in Star Wars things in boxes and, you know, just an awesome place for you guys to come and visit. Um, this is what I'm picking up today. I'm picking up Illusions of Gaia, and I'm picking up uh, WarioWare Incorporated, and probably some other stuff. I just haven't had a chance to go through everything yet because he always gets new stuff in all the time. And uh, he carries manuals and stuff too. Uh, those manuals I got, that's what I, where I picked them up from here. Um, he's even got a television games, 2600 games, uh, like weird accessories for the original Nintendo. Um, you know, just, just weird things like these uh, super controller pads, and it's just an awesome store. He's even got uh, the Atari computer game for the ET, <laughs> ET for the Atari computer. So, anyways, guys, if you guys are ever in the area, you might want to come by. Everything's reasonably priced, and he's got a lot of awesome stuff, and uh, he's a great guy. So, swing on by St. Jacob's, St. Jacob's Farmer's Market in St. Jacob's, Ontario, and uh, hope to see you guys here one day. Have a good one. All right, guys, here's all the stuff that I picked up from there. Uh, I'll quickly tell you what I traded in. Uh, yesterday, I picked up Mario Kart 64. I traded that in. I also traded in a copy of Mega Man X that I had. Um, I also traded in the black controller with memory card, N64 controller, and the NES controller, the uh, gray uh, N64 controller, and I had $5 trading credit from before, and I had, um, what was the last thing? Zelda Ocarina of Time. So this is what I got for all that stuff. Now you guys know what I paid for that stuff. So the first thing I picked up was I got South Park for the N64. And it's in really good shape. And I've been looking for this game for a while. I just can't find it anywhere. So there's that. Um, I picked up Thundercade for the NES. I also picked up Clue Clue Land for the NES. And I picked up Wrecking Crew for the NES, and these are the last three games that I need to reach my goal of the year to have 400 NES games, and I do. I picked up the following Super Nintendo games. I picked up Ultraman, and I showed you guys before, I picked up Illusion of Gaia, and finally, the GameCube game that I got was WarioWare Mega Party Game. So, I think that was a pretty fair trade for what I paid for all that stuff. So thanks for coming by to the market with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm glad you guys are really enjoying uh, following me around to stores and places I go to collect games. So have a good one. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, if you guys are at the market, go check out DSL Games. He's got really fair prices on stuff. He's not a game Nazi. You bring him decent stuff, he will give you decent trading credit. So, like, for example, if he's got a game he sells for 20 bucks, he'll give you 10 bucks trading credit. And uh, if you come in with cash, he usually works out a deal with you. He's a really, really, really fair guy. And he's a nice guy and he's an honest guy. So, I can't complain for what I got, for what I paid, for the stuff I traded in for, if that sentence makes any sense at all. So, thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one.